What's up everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and today I'm gonna show you how to highlight current term in a listing on the archive page. This way you can show a user that a currently queried term is now active. For this video we will need Jet Engine plugin installed and activated, dynamic visibility module enabled, custom post type created and set up, and custom taxonomy assigned to this CBT. Firstly, we need to build a query for taxonomy with terms we'd like to be shown. For that, follow to Jet Engine, Query Builder, and click on Add New. Give a name to the new query and select Terms Query from the drop down list. Then proceed to the General tab and select Taxonomy, the terms of which you want to be displayed in the listing. In my case, it is Property Types. That's it! Right now we can save the changes and move on to the next step, creating listing item for this query. For that, proceed to Jet Engine, Listings, and click on Add New. In the listing source, choose Query Builder, then select the query we just created, give a name to the listing item, and click on Create Listing Item. Let's start by adding a new section and placing a dynamic field widget to it. The source will stay the same, post term user object data, and as for the object field, select term name. Then go to the style settings and change widget items alignment to center, typography to poppins, size 30 pixels, weight 500. Ok, right now select the section and open style settings tab. Here, let's add a background type via dynamic text functionality. Select Custom Image from the list and pick the option Thumbnail under the Property type. Set position to Center Center, No Repeat, Size Cover. Just in case, guys, the taxonomy I'm using for this tutorial has a media meta field for the thumbnail added and every term has its own image assigned to it. Ok, so right now let's add a spacer widget above the dynamic field and set space to 250 pixels. After that, select the section one more time and expand the background overlay tab. Add a gradient background and set the top color to transparent, bottom color to dark blue, and adjust the top location to somewhere around 65 and bottom location to 85. Good! Now we can select Dynamic Field Widget and change its text color to white. So the design is ready and we can now duplicate the section. Here we will change the bottom color of the gradient background to green to kind of highlight this item and add an underline to the dynamic field widget. After that, proceed to Advanced Settings, Unfold Dynamic Visibility tab and enable this option. In the Visibility Condition type choose Show Element if Condition Met, in Conditions select Equal and click on the Dynamic Tags icon. Scroll a bit down to find Macros option and in the Macros select Current ID from the drop-down list. After that, proceed to the Value field and enter the following macro. Ok, now let's go back to the first section Open Advanced Settings, Dynamic Visibility, and enable it as well. In the Visibility Condition type choose Hide Element if Condition Met. Ok, now again select Condition Equal, 
click on Dynamic Tags and choose Macros option from the list. Here, just as before, select Current ID and enter the same macro in the value field. OK, right now click on the cogwheel to open Listing Item Settings and toggle Make Listing Item Clickable option on. Don't forget to save the changes and go back to the WordPress dashboard. Since our listing item for terms query is ready, we can now output it to the archive page. For that, go to Croco Block, Theme Templates, and open corresponding archive template with Elementor. Search for the listing grid widget and place it onto the canvas. In the listing, choose Current Term for Property Type, as for the columns number, I'll set it to 5, toggle Use as Archive Template option on, and don't forget to update the template. OK, now let's proceed to the front end to check the result. So here we are on the Properties Archive page. As you can see, there are different types of housing listed over here. Houses, bungalows, villas, and so on. Over here at the top, we can see the listing grid with property types we just created. And if I click on villas, for example, it will not only filter the properties at the bottom, but also highlight the current property type selected in green just the way we designed it a few minutes ago. And if I click on Cottages, I get a list of cottages available for rent and a highlighted current term as well. And what if I click on Resorts? There we go. The term gets highlighted in the blink of an eye. So this is it for today. Don't forget to like this video if it was useful Share your feedback in the comments and stand with Ukraine. Cheers, guys!